Today's Daily Read Aloud is Thomas the Tank Engine, Happy Birthday, based on the Railway Series by Reverend Wilbert Audrey. This story is about Thomas, the cheeky blue engine, and the day his friends threw him a very special party. It had been a very busy day on Sodor when Thomas puffed into the station at Maron. I'm sorry, Thomas, but you're not finished yet, said the fat controller. I need you to pick up Annie and Clarabelle and get some trucks to the quarry. I'll be as quick as I can, called Thomas as he pulled away. Thomas worked really hard. He pulled Annie and Clarabelle from one side of the island to the other shunted trucks to the quarry and coupled up with Annie and Clarabelle again to take them home. When Thomas returned to the sheds, he was too tired to talk to his friends and went straight to sleep. The other trains were worried. Thomas has been working so hard, said James, and it's his birthday soon. We should do something nice for him chimed Gordon. I've got an idea, exclaimed Percy. The next day, everyone gathered in the yard to talk about the big plan. I can't wait to see Thomas's face, tooted Bertie. Don't forget that it's a surprise, Bertie, warned Emily. You mustn't tell Thomas. I won't, said Bertie. He couldn't wait for his part in Thomas's big surprise, but he was worried he might give the secret away. Later that day, Thomas was just about to pull away from Knapford Station when he noticed Bertie arriving. Hello, Bertie, called Thomas. Oh, can't stop, said Bertie sheepishly, and he shot off down the road. Bertie must want me to race him, exclaimed Thomas as he sped away after him. Bertie was worried that he would give away the surprise, so he drove away as fast as he could. But Thomas's wheels were turning faster and faster and faster. Thomas was close to catching up when <gasps> Bertie turned off the road beside the track and zoomed off away from Thomas. Thomas didn't know what to do. Normally, Bertie loved to race with him. Maybe Bertie doesn't want to be friends with me anymore. That night, Thomas puffed very slowly and very sadly back to the sheds. In the morning, the fat controller asked Thomas to come all the way to the steamworks to meet him. Go faster! We're late! grumbled Annie and Clarabelle. Must hurry! Must hurry! puffed Thomas. He was feeling very tired after his busy week. There you are, Thomas, said the fat controller when Thomas arrived at the steamworks. We need to smarten you up. And so his dome was polished. He was given a new smart coat of paint. His buffers were buffed. And he was given brand new shiny wheels. Now you're ready, said the fat controller. Ready for what? asked Thomas. Happy birthday, Thomas, cheered the fat controller as they pulled up to the party. Surprise, shouted Bertie from the platform. I'm sorry I didn't race with you the other day, Thomas, but I didn't want you to know about your surprise birthday party. It was a wonderful party. All of Thomas's friends wished him a very happy birthday and even sang to him, Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! That was a good party, said James that night. Did you have fun, Thomas? asked Bertie. But Thomas didn't reply. He had already fallen asleep, thinking how lucky he was to have such good friends. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. We have a new story every day, so make sure you subscribe. The end.